Hey guys, I made these loops, belt loops, for my utility belt, which I made uh, several months ago. I have not made a video about this, but uh, I will. It's a 3 inch utility belt with uh, two double loops, and it's for, you know, going into the woods <clears throat> and holding a lot of equipment around your waist. It's made out of very thick uh, leather. And um, <clears throat> I made this, you know, it was pretty easy. I just I just cut the leather and I saddle stitched uh, it closed and I put this belt loop on it. I ordered this on eBay. But the leather I think I got it in a shop locally in Hong Kong. But uh, <clears throat> I saw on Fial Raven's um, website, they have something very similar to this, and I guess, I guess this is kind of copied uh, or modeled after it. Uh, that belt is a bit thinner in width, and it's not as wide. And uh, I wanted to, I didn't want to make exactly the same thing, I wanted to kind of improve upon the design. Uh, they have these um, claw clamps. They have one of these, and as well as a uh, one D ring. But instead of uh, putting a D ring, I, I put this loop here so that I, I can. And I, I'm making two each, so this could go on the back of the belt, and you could attach items using a carabiner here, or you can actually um, put a strap through here, go through that loop, and go back this way so that uh, it'll allow me to attach, you know, other items that have straps on it. And um, maybe I'll show that in a different video. But um, I cut these and sewed these on last night. This is just basically, you know, it, was, it wasn't too difficult to do. Um, I finished the edges off, but now, you know, obviously the colors don't match. This is just veg tan leather, and this is a uh, stained oil cowhide. So um, what I want to do is I want to dye it a darker color so that it matches this. This is some kind of um, oil-based stain. I think it's a dark brown. And this um, funny looking Q-tip is, uh, oops, I've got that everywhere. Okay. This thing I got from Tandy Leather. So it's pretty easy. You just uh, you know make sure you don't get your stuff all dirty. So I put this plastic down, and um, just go over the veg tan leather with this. And leather is sort of like a sponge. I mean, it just absorbs everything you put on it. Okay, 
staining seems finished. I'll wait for these to dry a little bit before I come back. To, uh, do the waxing. Okay, so I use this uh, snow proof, it's waterproofing for uh, leather. People usually put this on shoes, so you know, when they're walking over uh, mud or snow, they don't get their feet soaked. Um, I think it's, I don't know where it's made, um, Milwaukee, USA, it says it's distributed there. I got this from Tandy Leather, and what I do is, uh, this is soft, uh, you know, hide from uh, a rabbit, so I usually put a generous amount on this, and then I just kind of rub it in to any leather items that I make that might be exposed to the elements and um, it usually keeps the water out and makes it kind of soft too it tends to darken the leather Okay, they're finished. So what this could be used for is, you know, if you have like a pair of gloves, you could kind of clip it onto your belt or any other items. You may have, um, you know, let's say <coughs> if you're walking your dog, you, you could kind of use this, put your leash through that, tie it on so that uh, you know your dog doesn't run away from you uh, let's say if you went hunting and you killed something you could tie it onto this so you, you, you know you could tie the legs let's say you were hunting birds or or small animals you can tie their legs off into these uh, belt loops um, or let's say if you have a bag or if you're carrying a bedroll you can kind of roll it and put the straps through these uh, holes to hold it so uh, let's uh, put these on and uh, see how they look so it should fit pretty snug okay so that's the so this should go all the way here towards the front. is quite long because uh, I wanted to make sure it was going to be big enough for me to wear over clothes over a jacket okay. so basically oops. let's 
a belt loop. There's room in here to pass it through. So that would be the front of the pants here. And you could hang stuff off of these loops. And uh, I'm going to make some utility bags that go around uh, this belt. Probably a utility pouch over here. Um, maybe a smaller tinder pouch for a ferro ride and you know, maybe fire starting materials. And then I'm also going to make a uh, kind of a, maybe like a survival, a survival kit bag that fits in the back and then over on this side will be probably the uh, you know I'll probably put my knife here saw and probably an axe on the on the left hand side so yeah this is my load bearing equipment belt so far more to come thanks for watching Bye.